I actually did not intend to film this video, but several of you asked. So today we are going to take a look at my Sephora wish list and some of my recommendations for the April 2023 sale. Hey guys, welcome back to Sherry Proof. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. And if you're already a part of the Sherry Proof family, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So the Sephora spring sale has already started. All the details will be down below. It started on April 14th. So a couple of people did ask me about my wish list and what I will actually be picking up. So what you're seeing here may not be the final thing. I may or may not pick up some of these things, but I also do have a couple recommendations from some of the newer items that I would have been trying over the last couple months that I picked up from Sephora. But I also want to encourage you to take a look at my previous recommendations videos there are some long-standing items that I will continuously recommend over and over and over again and I really don't want to bore you by recommending those again so I will definitely leave the links to those videos in the description box below so that you could take your time and go through to make your final selection like I mentioned in my video on my Sephora collection recommendations I will definitely be restocking on the micro food powder and I will definitely be picking up some more bottles of that amazing in a setting spray. Some of the other items I already have backup so I may not necessarily pick up those except that I am thinking about picking up another shade of the blush that really impressed me. But from Sephora collection there is actually another item that I want to try that's new. Well I'm not sure if it's new but it's new to me and that's the Sephora collection dry shampoo brush cleaner. It's $16 before the 30% off and it is described as a quick drying alcohol free dry shampoo for makeup brushes. So these type of brush cleaners I tend to have on hand especially if I'm doing something quick and I really need to clean off my brushes in between washes I am very keen to try this one from Sephora it is quite affordable if any of you tried it let me know also on my wish list is another one of the Kosas cloud set baked setting and smoothing talc free vegan powder now I do actually already have one of these powders in the shade pillowy which is described as the sheer medium tan and the thing about it is guys I have had this for a while and I've only really fallen in love with it over the last maybe two months or so I do have it on my face today and beside the Sephora micro smooth powder this is the other baked powder that I really 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 do enjoy so this is what I have all over my face but I feel I want a shade lighter in this formula to set my under eye area truth be told I actually prefer this formula to the Pat McGrath labs powder which is well loved by a lot of people and don't get me wrong I actually do have this under my eyes but I do find that this tends to pick up a lot on dry patches under my eyes but all over my face it's a really really good setting powder so most of the times when I'm actually reaching for this one I use it to set all over my face but this powder gives amazing amazing coverage and it really just diffuses and smooths out everything so so wish me luck in picking up a shade that might work for my under eyes we'll see how that goes now if you've been following me for a while you guys know that one of my weaknesses when it comes to makeup especially in terms of complexion products are foundations and I actually cluttered my collection I got rid of a lot of them but just slowly I've just been trying to pick up like one one foundation during the sales or maybe two I should say but I have been looking more at higher end foundations I don't know why I've just been exploring this particular avenue I'm going to tell you guys that Lancome Tainted Doll remains my number one ride or die foundation if I had to close my eyes and really choose I will constantly repurchase that in fact I did pick up a backup in the last sale because I was on my last bottle when I'm going to any event and I have no idea what conditions to expect and I need my foundation to just look flawless look gorgeous just perfect my skin and stay like that for hours and hours and hours do really well with my oils Lancome is it so if you want a real tested and true recommendation definitely go with that. I did pick up two other higher end foundations over the last couple of months and one is the Dior Forever Matte. Yes, this is the matte version and the other one is the YSL All Hours Foundation and this one is the Luminous Matte Foundation. So both of these I picked up more so for my skin type which is oily acne prone and I haven't reviewed these for you guys yet and I probably should but if you have been looking at any of these between these two I actually really 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 prefer the YSL formula over the Dior that's just in passing I said all that to say that I do have another high-end foundation 
<laughs> on my wish list whether I will pick it up or not is left to be seen but the one that I am thinking about picking up is the Gucci Eternité Debuté I am not a French speaker the 24 hour full coverage luminous matte foundation and that's 69 <laughs> 69 hot US dollars but here how it is described it is said to be a 24 hour foundation with a luminous matte finish and full coverage in one drop now that has me so 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 intrigued plus the reviews on this so far has been really really good so if you all do see me pick up a foundation it's probably going to be that one but so tell me in the comments down below do you guys think i'm going to bite the bullet and pick it up <laughs> Now, when it comes to other newer foundations that I've been trying the last couple of months, I cannot believe that I'm actually recommending this because when I first started to use this, I really didn't like it and I couldn't understand the hype. And that's this foundation, the Makeup Forever HD Skin, the Undetectable Stay True Foundation. My shade is 3Y46. It is the foundation that I have on my face today and I think that it looks absolutely beautiful the thing about it is that this foundation was just failing for me until i started using it and pairing it with the new primers from sephora that i picked up one being the milk makeup pore eclipse mattifying primer and the other one which i also didn't think that i would be recommending to you guys which i do have it on with today and that's the huda beauty glowish primer now let me just say that one time since i'm talking about this because this is definitely one of my recommendations you get a ton of primer in this and if you are somebody that really really uses a primer to smooth over your pores and give your skin that just really smooth base for your foundation that's also going to help extend the longevity of your foundation i highly recommend this like when i first used this i was like oh, okay yeah it's a good primer and then i started to pair it with foundations that i probably didn't like before and then i realized wow this primer is actually making me like these foundations these two together as well as pairing this foundation with the milk makeup one which by the way i will be purchasing a full size of the milk makeup primer that has been the best primer for oil control that i've tried in a long long, long time has made me want to recommend this to you guys now so yeah and this is a foundation that is actually recommended for normal combination oily skin types and i actually wore this over the weekend in this easter heat outside from very early in the morning until very late in the evening i did pair it with this primer i was amazed at how it wore it feels very very lightweight it gives you a good medium buildable coverage and does not look cakey at all in fact i'd love for you guys to comment what do you think about how this foundation actually looks on my skin and remember that i did set it with the kosas powder as well moving on something else that's on my wish list is the tower 28 movement set it contains both a tower 28 lip gloss and one of their cream blushes i decided that i will probably pick up this set because i've been wanting to try both of those formulas and you do get a savings because you purchase together and then of course i'll be able to get 20 percent off as well during the sale so i will probably be trying that a lot of people rave about that formula and then talking about blushes also in my cart is one of the new danessa myrick's beauty yummy skin blurring balm powder blushes so i do have the jubilee shade in my cart which they describe as a soft terracotta shade and i have something about seeing like orangey tone blushes on melanin skin i love it but i find like only of recently a lot of brands are really coming out with lovely orange tone blushes so for sure i'm getting that one i don't know if i may or may not include another shade do you guys have any recommendations have you tried it already everybody has been raving about this formula and i feel like as soon as spring launches started like if you look at trend mood and so on all i have been seeing is blushes 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 everywhere so there are so many new blushes to try and there are lots of others i wanted to try but for sure the Danessa Myricks is going to be coming home with me. I hope that I'm able to get that particular shade especially. Also on my wish list is a concealer. <laughs> Which I absolutely don't need because guys, honestly, from the drugstore, there's so many great concealers that I have been loving, that I've been reaching for. There's a new one from Essence, um, Catrice, I still love. The new Maybelline one is working really, really well for me. And when it comes to high-end from Sephora, 
I have said it before and I highly recommend that you take a look at some of my favorites videos especially from this year because I did talk about the Huda Beauty concealer absolutely recommend that especially if you have an issue with creasing under your eyes I actually do have on the Huda Beauty today and I mixed it with the Lancome concealer which I also picked up in a previous haul I do love the Huda Beauty way more than I love the Lancome I'm actually mixing it in to kind of finish it off the Lancome is good don't get me wrong but for me the Huda Beauty performs way better on my under eyes in terms of how it wears and how it looks and so on but the Lancome is also very very well loved but the one that's in my cart or my wish list I should say is by Givenchy and it is their Prism Libre Skin Caring 24 Hour Hydrating Radiant and Correcting Creamy Concealer and this one is said to give like a medium coverage it does have a radiant finish and I'm looking at that concealer and concealers more along that line because I'm getting older my under eyes are getting drier while the rest of my face is oily so I really do need to cater for my under eyes in a different way my only concern is if that hydrated type of finish with the concealer will mean a little bit more creasing but we'll see because again this is another concealer that has been getting some really really good reviews something else that is in my wish list right now is another one of the soft pinch liquid blushes by rare beauty by selena gomez so remember i got the mini in one of the sephora favorites sets that were available during christmas time guys that formula is amazing and i am not the type of person that will run to cream blushes and liquid blushes just because it could be a little bit finicky applying that on top of foundation or other powders especially if you set with powder could be an issue the rare beauty blushes apply flawlessly over powder over just foundation if i had forgotten to apply it before i set my face no problem it blends in flawlessly you just need a tiny 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 bit so that little travel size that i have is going to last me forever and i am interested in the shade called grace which is a matte finish described as a bright rose mauve shade still not sure if i'll pick it up because of course those full sizes will last forever and a lifetime so that's the only reason why i have a little bit of doubt but it is in my wish list as well some other items that i just want to mention in this video that i highly recommend based on my last hauls as well are the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. Oh my goodness, phenomenal formula. I love those. I reach for them all, all, all the time. On my lips, I actually have one, the same combination from the last video, the Sephora Gloss Top Gloss um, with a lip liner, but I highly recommend those Tarte Juicy Lips. They also have a new combo set for the specific sale. So you save literally like 50% of the full size price, as well as you do get the additional whatever tier discount you will get on that set. So if you do want to try out the formula, that set might be a good option to try. The Natasha Denona My Dream Palette, I think guys, is my favorite eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. I am wearing it on my eyes today. I love this look. I love every single look that I do with this palette. This palette is so wearable. Day, night, work, glam it is such a lovely palette especially if you do like mauvey shades so i'm just going to tell you that i actually put unity and nurture in my crease i put vision which is actually a duo chrome shade on the outer corner i did deepen it up a little bit with aspiration and then i put spontaneous and invention on the inner part of my lid and then i put a little bit of the spontaneous as well on my inner corner and brought it down as well a little bit on my lower lash line and that's the look that i have on today the shadows blend beautifully i love 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 the color story of this palette i didn't think that i would like it so much and that's why i'm mentioning it in this video i'm not recommending anything from pat mcgrath to pick up on sephora you absolutely can but i do recommend waiting for sales on pat mcgrath's site because you do get a better discount there especially given that is one of the pricier brands on sephora if you can get a bigger discount and you can wait i'll say wait for pat mcgrath to have sales however that being said one of the things that i do want to pick up from her which i will not be picking up from sephora will be her new bronzers they look fantastic i'll probably be getting that later on in the year maybe even at the end of the year when she does her bigger sales who knows but we'll see some other things that i quickly want to mention that i do recommend would be the blushes from clinique the cheek pop blush you will actually see that come up in probably this month's favorite video i have been meaning to talk about it for so long this is not a formula that is new this has been around for years and years and years and years but i only tried it for the first time and i picked it up in december and guys that particular shade called black honey pop oh my goodness like listen this shade this shade will just work on 
everybody this is the perfect everyday blush it will tie into everything i feel and especially on melanin skin Ooh, y'all 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 i i recommend it i highly recommend it very very long wearing and a beautiful beautiful formula as well as i did review on my instagram the clean skin reserve perfume i i love it I am not going to be picking up any fragrance in the sale. Y'all pray for me. I will not be picking up any fragrance in the sale. I have enough full-size bottles I'm looking up because I'm looking at them right now to go through. So yeah, we'll skip that. But just mention it in case anybody was interested in trying it. I wore it yesterday. We had a family thing and my dress was hanging up on my wardrobe that I wore yesterday. Passed by this morning, still smelling that perfume. Absolutely beautiful perfume. Anything from Hourglass, any of the Hourglass powders, I will continuously recommend them to you. If there's anything you wanted to pick up in the full size, and guys, the value of the full size per gram is better already than the minis when it comes to Hourglass. So that tends to happen with a lot of brands anyway, but getting that 20% off is definitely going to help. So if there's something from Hourglass that you wanted to pick up, check it out. They have a new primer that has been getting some good reviews, but I don't know if I want to spend any money on that, especially because I know for sure I will be picking up the Milk Makeup Primer. And while I mention a couple of things from Huda Beauty, the Bake Loose Satin Powder, again, I wear banana bread under my eyes. I actually was thinking about probably picking up that pink shade that everybody has been raving about, but that's also another powder that I really, really do recommend. If you could deal with the slight fragrance that you will smell on application it will dissipate then that is another wonderful wonderful formula i will actually pick that up over laura mercier and several other very popular under eye setting powders at sephora so yeah i think i'm going to stop there stay tuned because when i do get my haul i will be sharing it although i am sure it's not going to be anywhere close to the size of my december haul i do have some sephora gift cards and that's what i'm going to be using to purchase most of my items during this sale if there's anything that you guys would like me to try or if there's anything that you highly recommend that i probably haven't tried before please come commented down below you know what tends to happen with people during the sale we make one order and then at the very last minute we do another one because we add a ton of things in our cards <laughs> does that happen to anybody no just me <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'd love to hear about it down below and I hope that this video was helpful. Definitely remember to check out the other recommendations videos that I have done before because there are a lot of other things that I would have gone over. And I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.